Hi, I'm Dr. William Barrett, an orthopedic surgeon specializing in hip and knee replacement at ProLiance Orthopedic Associates in Renton, Washington. There are a variety of conditions that can affect the hip, but by far the most common is osteoarthritis. In its mild to moderate forms, osteoarthritis can often be treated with a variety of non-operative measures, including modification of activity, use of physical therapy, anti-inflammatory medication, and, in, and occasionally with injections. However, when osteoarthritis progresses to its more severe forms where pain is increasing, your function is decreasing, and you feel your world is shrinking, then surgical intervention is talked about. The most common type of surgery for osteoarthritis of the hip is a hip replacement. Hip replacement involves replacing the worn out ball and socket of the joint. There are a variety of ways to get into the hip and they include the anterior approach, lateral approach, and a posterior approach. All three have proven track records and lead to long-term success. We prefer the use of the anterior approach and have been using it for over eight years now because of several reasons. One being it's associated with less post-operative pain, uh, quicker recovery, uh, return to work and activity sooner, a lower dislocation rate, and more accurate placement of the implants because we use intraoperative C-arm. The most common form of fixation is cementless fixation whereby your bone grows into the stem and the cup and the most common bearings in the United States include either a metal or ceramic ball against a crosslink polyethylene liner. Uh, hip replacement is associated with very good long-term results. The short-term complications include the risk of infection, dislocation, and blood clots, all of which will be discussed uh, with you by your surgeon. So it's important that you learn as much as you can about conditions affecting the hip, the treatment options, so that you can make a shared decision uh, with your surgeon after discussing the pros and cons of options. Thank you.